I just wish there was more people who knew about trades because honestly it is like one of the best careers you could ever have. I got into it and I'm like oh my god where was this job when I started working? Why didn't I have this career? A friend of mine actually had mentioned becoming a construction craft worker to me and I never really thought about it at the time but then when I ended up getting laid off with COVID it just seemed like why not? There was a little bit of self-doubt in the beginning just because can I do this lifting? Can I do the job? And uh, I tried it and God, I fell in love with it. So I actually have a career instead of a job is the way I look at it. Depending on the day, it can be anything from chipping to patching, sometimes driving the telehandler, the bobcat. You want to make sure that the construction sites are very safe, which means getting rid of any kind of debris that's in the way. It could be building a fence one day, vacuuming up water from a flooding the next, you just never know. The money in construction is amazing. I started at $23.75, it's only been a year, and I'm already up to $33.50, still not at the max rate yet. I have full benefits, and I also have a pension. I love my hours. I usually work 7 to 3.15. It can change sometimes, but most of the construction it is earlier. There's always overtime, always overtime. You don't have to work the overtime, but we love it, we do. Yeah, I mean, the money's great. I always think, yeah, I get paid to work out. That's kind of how I look at it. It is safe. Minimum requirements just to get on a site, you have to have your work boots, your hard hat, their safety glasses. Depending on what you're doing, you might have to have a face shield, a harness if you're going to be at heights. I've been working at a site now for a year and I think one person cut their finger has been the worst thing that's happened in the last year. I think the work environment couldn't be any better. Honestly, it's a great group of people that I've been working with. Very helpful. If I'm not sure about something, they're very good at explaining things to me. Very friendly. It's honestly been a great experience. I definitely feel more confident in fixing things around my home than I did before. You have to have a minimum grade 10 to actually take the apprenticeship. I work through Lyuna 506, so they actually have a training center where you can go do the training there. When you're not familiar with a lot of the stuff that they do, it can seem very overwhelming, but once you actually get hands-on experience, it all makes sense. I feel that opportunities are there for almost anything, whether it's going into a different trade or becoming a foreman, a site super, there's always room for advancement. There's so many different things you can do. When I see somebody who's young and actually knows to get into a trade, it is so exciting to see everything that can change for them over the next couple of years. I look forward to bumping into them again. In 10, 20 years, I want to see where they are. Are they still the electrician? Are they still the construction craft worker? Are they foremen now? Do they own their own home? Do they have a cottage? What have they done? Because these, these are the people that you want to see in there who can spend that long 20 years doing this and where they can go and what they can accomplish in all that time. It's amazing when I watch some of them.